At Therapy Halle Street, we are delighted and proud to um, host these existential dialogues. Welcome to this series of discussions, dialogues, conversations between various existential therapists and myself. Interior design, psychological interior design. We just change, find a better job, find a better relationship, become a little bit more proficient. Boring. So which are those possibilities? How is a co-creation achieved? What is that en enables a co-creation to happen? Um, you know, the rose is not a commodity. Um, it it uh, blooms because it blooms. Um, and I think uh, true therapy has to release itself from the need to produce uh, or lest it's just a business transaction. I guess if you, if, you, if you chop off the unconscious, then how do you make sense of trauma? How do you make sense of internalized past relationships that are clearly, I mean, it's self-evident to me how people are affected by their previous relationships. I would like to, to chat with him about his experiences and my experiences and how can we build a community that could talk more about this in a respectful manner? Techniques that uh, help us to breathe and to be embodied and to break through the character armor, to break through the sedimentations in the body so that we could mobilize what Nietzsche calls the dancing with the universe, the being, becoming engaged with the dancing universe. And what I think about that is that that's actually phenomenological, even though one kind doesn't necessarily know it, that it's, it's, it's re we're really talking that, about that place where this world becomes my world. And I think that's the place where we need to be working in psychotherapy. How can you be more open to your own being and then sit across from a person that has some problem or some trouble usually, and it's your openness that's helpful, not your knowing. When we uh, talk about existential psychology or existential therapy, uh, we cannot ignore you know, the force, the meaning of, of culture. Fitting into the neuroses of our parents, basically, to survive. So if we can emancipate ourselves from that and be true to our own desire and our own true aversions, be honest like that, then we attain a, a level of psycholo psychological authenticity.